Hey everyone, assalamu alaikum, and today I will be reviewing the math, finally. So, as you guys have seen on my channel, we've gone over so far our first grade Islamic studies, we've gone over the uh, curriculum we did for English or language arts, as well as I showed you what we decided to do for our science section of our first grade, which was a little bit more eclectic slash Char Charlotte Mason slash unschooling, sort of. <laughs> so anyways, so with math, I am not a math person. I actually hate math. Like, I dread it. It was the one subject that always kept me behind in school. I never did well in math, and the only math I ever did really well in was in high school. I took business math. And business math, I could understand because I could practically apply it. I knew that I was going to have to go for a math curriculum. I think most people do. Uh, math is one of those subjects where it's really challenging to make it fun or it's really challenging to kind of go outside of the box of like a workbook or a curriculum and do something on your own unless you were just somebody who you're super enthusiastic about math it was like one of your favorite subjects you're really good at math it comes naturally to you then you may actually know how to make math a lot more creative so anyway so we decided to go with a book all of that to be said we decided to go with a book um, and I was doing lots of research on different math programs. I did notice that there were secular math books. There were books that were made by religious organizations. Um, in religious organizations, I mean like, like master books, for example, right? This is a master book and they are a Christian based company. So, um, that's kind of what I mean by that. Not that they're like an organization, but, um, and I I was actually looking into, um, what is it, The Good and the Beautiful, what we did for language arts. I was looking into their math program. Unfortunately, when I started looking into reviews for the math program, some people were just kind of saying that it was like a bit much, that they were kind of making it complicated, and they understood that maybe uh, The Good and the Beautiful was kind of trying to make it more fun and more creative, but it ended up just coming out to be like a lot of work that was unnecessary to get to the point of actually like teaching the straightforward math, especially in those early years where math is like super straightforward. And so I decided not to go with the good and the beautiful for um, math. And instead, I did lots of research on master books. So now we are a Muslim family, as most of you know, and I have opted to use different Christian curriculums like The Good and the Beautiful, which is Christian owned from my knowledge, as well as the master books, which is Christian owned from my knowledge. Um, and then of course, for our second grade year, we are doing a more Charlotte Mason slash eclectic unschooling type approach. So we're not using any curriculum for a second grade year, which me and Ali, my oldest, who I am schooling, um, we're actually very stoked about that <laughs> because to say the least, the curriculums, the books, although it does present a lot of ease in your school day because you're like, okay, turn to page whatever. This is where we left off. We need to do this many pages. And it's like everything is right there in front of you. And I think that's amazing about curriculums. And that's probably really beneficial for first time homeschooling mommies. But there is a little bit of boredom that comes with it. It's kind of humdrum. Um, there's not a whole lot of excitement, um, but I will say some positive stuff about the story of the world once I review that. So with the math curriculum, we did decide to go with master books. Like I said, it seemed like the reviews just were like, it's very straightforward math. It teaches the children really easily and it just kind of gets the job done. And that's what I wanted. When you go onto the master books website, you can actually test your child to see where they lie, like on their math education on the spectrum. And although uh, my Ali was in first grade, thank God, um, we had actually, he I don't know if math just comes easy to him or if maybe we did a little bit more math in kindergarten than I thought we did. Um, but he ended up, uh, I guess kind of qualifying for like the level two, which is second grade. And so we went ahead and dove in. So he did second grade math for his first grade. So I won't be able, so although he is a first grader um, still at this point, I, I won't be able to review the first level because 
we didn't do it. So if your child is second grade, um, then this will be the book for you. Or if your child tests into the level two, then again, this will be the book for you. So you see lessons for a living education level two. So that'll, that's what you'll be looking for as well as the Labrador dog. So we actually just finished this whole book. Um, what was it like a week ago or so? And I will say it is just very straightforward. So I'll just kind of flip through here. Now, of course, they have the book planned out so that you're actually using it like throughout the year. But like a lot of you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, we split up our academics for half the year. So we had to finish this book in half a year instead of a whole year. So he was doing a lot more lessons than your child typically would do if they were focusing on math for the whole year. But surprisingly, we still got done early. Um, so yeah, so you'll see they kind of recommend like day 91. This is what you're going to do. And if you really do break it up into a whole year, the math lessons are super simple. And it really should only take you maybe 15 or 20 minutes to do a daily lesson with math. Um, so we obviously were spending a little bit more time. We were spending, you know, 30, 40 minutes or so. Um, so it does go over, you know, the place value first. Now, I will say that this was a bit confusing for us at first. Um, this is definitely not how I learned place value. Um, I do think that sometimes either it's like a modern approach to math or maybe it is just this book. I don't know, maybe other books teach it this way. Uh, but I feel like sometimes they're like trying to make it fun. They're trying to make it something that like you can visually see and whatever. But I did find with my Addy, he is very, very literal. Um, he is not the type that like beats around the bush. And so I did find that kind of using this house method, which they have cutouts in the back that you end up cutting out and you like tape them onto cups and then they have like these activities that you do with finding place value i did find that very confusing like they wanted you to fill up you know like um 10 pennies in the cup and then you would take those 10 pennies out or beans or whatever beads whatever you're using and you would take those out and then you would end up putting them into the tens house once they got to 10. And then the same thing for the tens house is that you would go all the way up until like 99 or like 90 pretty much or whatever. And then you would switch them all over to the hundreds house. And doing this like made it so complicated. I was like, what are they talking about? <laughs> like what happened to just writing a number out? 9.99 and being like hey dude this is one this is 10 <laughs> this is 100 i don't know that just seems so much easier to me just to, for your child to understand by looking at a number instead of like having to do this because it really did make it complicated and and even my son was just kind of like what like why are we doing this <laughs> so anyway so i will say that was probably the one downside at the beginning of our lessons um but then they start going over time which is really great because unfortunately we didn't have time to go over time um, when we were kind of doing his preschool stuff they have you do some copy work with numbers um and then it starts to go into basic math um then they go start going over calendar which is really great because again we haven't gone over calendar up until this book. And um, so, yeah, I was happy about that. So they go over the days of the week, um, the months, and, <clears throat> and excuse me, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. Um, they do have like these little intro stories just to kind of make what you're about to do in math um, like a story pretty much. Um, so there's in this book, there's kind of this um, story about like these two kids <clears throat> who um I think like their parents are like travel ministers or something like that and they like did this adoption um fund for these kids in a different country so they like send them letters and gifts and money and they talk to them about stuff and so they do kind of a lot of that um in the storytelling and um so yep so clock and so it goes through, here's another story, <coughs> excuse me. You can see that my son 
is still having an issue with every once in a while he will write his three backwards um so why why he does that i have no idea we are working on it though we are working on it <laughs> so yeah so i'm just gonna go through then it starts going into money so we were able to learn about money i um, and even recently so it's ramadan for us right now and um i had him we have a box like a change box that's for charity uh, just for the kids, obviously, uh, we don't give in change, <laughs> but, um, so I had him open the box and count all of the change. So I had him count all the pennies, all the nickels, all the dimes, all the quarters. And then I had him make tallies for like how much he had, then add each section up and then add it all up together. And so he was able to do that pretty much by himself. I helped him just a little bit at the beginning to get started into like what needs to be done and everything like that. So anyways, then they start getting into measurements. So they have you start using like a ruler and stuff. Um, and then they start getting into like the, the squares. I forget what this is called exactly, but you have the square, you have the measurements, and then you have to like find the whole number um, for, I don't, I don't know if it's called, not square footage, but it's like similar to that. <laughs> but see, I don't know my math. But anyways, but this book totally helped it made uh, math like very easy for us um, to go through and like i said he really understood everything really well um they um presented in a way that's really nice so this was one of the i think one of the only areas that was kind of christian based um here on this page um i'm not gonna lie we did skip over some of these stories and stuff just because I just felt like it was kind of a waste of time. It's not really necessary. It's it's not teaching him math. It's just kind of a story that goes along. Um, plus, this obviously is not um, a Muslim approach to our religion. So, again, it's just not something that I included um, into our math lesson. Hi, Mommy. And then, hello. So then we went over temperature, we went over bar graphs and things like that. So that was good. He enjoyed that. And then here, look, there's some little Muslim kids, it looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's just the kids. I know that, you know, Christians also do cover, but that is kind of what that looks like. <laughs> so my son was like, oh, look, they're Muslim. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, there are Christians who do cover and things like that, but... So anyways, this was fun for him. This was the uh, gallon man or whatever they call it. Um, so again, in the, in the back, um, yeah, they had us cut out like this gallon and they had us cut out like these uh, quarts, pints, cups, and then you actually make this gallon man. So from this, he was actually able to really learn how to do this. I remember my mom was visiting and she was like, hey, you know, how much of this is in this? And Addy was like, oh, I think it's this. And he was actually right. And it's because of this teaching here. And that's something I have to Google all the time, like when I'm baking and things. So now here we're starting to go through a review because we are practically done here. So we're doing more timing here. Um, it's going to go over like all the minutes, seconds, hours. It goes over the calendar. It's graphing again. Um, here we weren't able to do this project which I was kind of bummed about because I actually did have a sewing project planned for math but you know sometimes life gets the best of yes so we weren't able to really do that um, unfortunately but we did get through the book so I'm happy about that so this was the baby not my son <laughs> so anyways so as you can see here and then here he it's like yay <laughs> congratulations you are finished he was happy about that so anyways so this is masterbooks level two i highly recommend it i'm sorry this video was probably much longer than it needed to be but hopefully you enjoyed it if you are looking for an easy straightforward book curriculum for math i would highly recommend masterbooks um, and so, yeah, uh, you can purchase it. Uh, I purchased mine on Amazon. I think at the time it was about $30 or so. It might've been a little bit more cause I know we just purchased, we are using master books again this year. Um, and I think his third grade master book for second grade was closer to like $40. So maybe that's what this was as well, but I can't remember exactly. So anyways, so yeah, leave me any questions if you have any. I will be doing the story of the world, um, the, the first 
level or whatever, which is the nomads to the early Romans, I believe. Um, I will be doing that soon, as well as I'll be going over some of our Arabic studies as well, which we've kind of been slacking in. So, um, but I'll, I'll present it to you anyways, what kind of what we're doing. So anyways, so I will talk to you guys later. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.